Where, where? Where, welcome back to Wapo. Continuing on straight from last time, let's go back and look at some stuff. Do you say anything about these guys? No. Do you say anything about the mushrooms? I'm just gonna run around and see if I can see him flapping his wings at some point. That's that screen. Okay. Please don't hit me. Ow. I guess I can jump over it, maybe. Can I? Yeah. Might be safer. Oh, did I hit like a green butterfly up on one of these? Last time, I got confused like what I did. Maybe that was a butterfly. All right, we're back here now. Wait, hold on, let me check if he says anything about thorns. I kind of doubt it, but maybe. No. Doesn't... Wait, what was that? Is that just him randomly saying stuff? Or was he actually commenting? Yeah, that's out. That's probably just him wetting at random. I don't need to jump into that. What happens if I jump down here? I would get to the WUM house, right? Or like the kitchen? If I just hold left? Okay, fine. I'm gonna save here. We need to test that out to see what happens. I can like land up by the, the cook. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Hello. La la la, he doesn't comment on anything. This one is a cook. I can tell by the hat. Do you think that mustache is real? Yeah. No, Scallywag. It just comes with a hat. How can you not know this? Do you think the mustache is real? Nah. Haha, <laughs> silly wums. Okay. Oh, oh no! You won't be able to get inside. Trust me, I've tried everything. Something is blocking us. I think we have to fix the situation from inside. Ah. Alright, can't even check it out. I wanted to at least, like, get to a screen that was blocked off or something. But nope. And once again, with a, like, insane rainstorm. Oh! What? Ah! Looks like the Alice Wetter might have cooked something while we were gone. I would suggest eating it, but it looks like he used way too much bubble gum. Oh well. Weh! What? But this is not new! What are you talking about? Also, I guess we have a film strip to look at. Why, hello again. I need a match. You need a match? Oh, shit! You can just get matches, like, every time you use them? As long as you have... Oh, I guess that makes sense if there are some puzzles that require them, and then you couldn't get back to a trader, or you don't have enough coins to buy more matches. Then, if you're out of matches, you can get at least one from this guy every time. That's really convenient, if that's how it works. So, put that here, I guess. Five there. Can you put, like, yeah, up to nine? Zero, even? Yep. Can you use the numpad? You cannot. Or at least not to mark stuff. Can I use the numpad here? I cannot. And pressing numlock does nothing. That would have been, I mean, not really convenient. I don't really like using the entire number row for hotkeys in the first place, but what can you do? So, yeah, match. And then I run into the water. And the match is extinguished. But I still have it. And if I swap to it again, it starts, yeah, lighting up. And it doesn't get, like, weaker? No. Okay, so you just have to swap to it. Can I just swap to itself? Yeah, swap to it and it lights itself. Good. Alright, let's watch at least one film strip, because we had one that wasn't part two. 
the great numbers, or, well, just great numbers. A film strip about us? I think I might have made this one. Let's watch it. I wonder how many ones are conscious about the fact that we outnumber all the other creatures in this world. And by quite a large number as well, I might add. In fact, there are so many of us that we live across multiple locations. I see, so there's more than the Wum House. There's the Wum House, of course, a place where I've lived for quite some time. These days, the majority of us live in Popo City, though. Quite a busy place. I do wonder how the Blussers and Splank Hackers feel about this, though. It seems most places were either built by us or catered towards us, in the case of Wonder Splank. Fine by me, though. I feel like after our major contribution towards deciding the Fnacker Wars, we deserve it. We sure do. Hmm, I'm not sure what I was thinking while making this. We might be the majority, but we shouldn't forget about the others. Thanks for finding this film strip. It sure feels good to be a wum. So he doesn't- oh, yay! Plus one. So he doesn't feel that way? I thought he was just talking about the film, but I guess he's like reading a script almost? Like reading it out to us and explaining each slide, and then he's like, I actually don't think this way anymore after looking at the, the film. I don't know, kind of weird. And yeah, I'm gonna, I guess, hmm. I guess I will get one extra health if I watch the part two, but no, I'll wait with it until we actually have the part one so we can get the chronological order. But yeah, weird that Denksnavel commented on this. I don't know why he would, but sure, let's go back up. See if we can find the king and the traitor. Oh, bird, bully me! Oh shit! No! What? He doesn't like Dank Snavel? What the hell? Why do they not like Dank Snavel? Uh, I mean, I guess that's kind of obvious. Can I just sit here? Nope, they- Oh, they jump across, but they're kind of dumb as well. Whoops. Hold on, so is that just the thing? Like... If I sit here and I bring out Dank Snavel? Defeat annoying bird! Oh Jesus Christ, they just get really upset. But not everyone, just the guy until I start hitting him. I'm trying to piss off more people. Ah, uh, no, it's very hard to have him weh near someone else. There we go, defeat annoying bird. Okay, so that's a mechanic. Don't run around with the uh, dinks. Ow, Jesus Christ. Dink snavel around these guys for some reason. It's very strange. Was he coming after me? I don't even know. Looked like it. Does he say anything about signs? Nope. Better save. And this guy. Dot dot dot. This one is stupid, thinking he's better than everyone. Weh! I wanted to be his pet, but he thought I was annoying. You know, I really thought we'd get along. Plus, he snatched that nice TV! Oh, what? That's your TV? Eh, then... Uh, how very... Mean. Unbelievable! And he says the same thing. Yep. Also, I guess it's noon at this point, maybe. Yeah, that's the same. Can you, like, skip... You can skip with a spacebar as well, so you can skip by, like, clicking, mashing click and spacebar at the same time. But I don't know if there's an actual skip option, it doesn't seem like it. Maybe if I press escape? I haven't tried that. Okay, it doesn't comment on the king's house. 
And that's about it. Alright, so now I'm just gonna hit this save pot. Now we're finally back to where we started in this episode, and I can try and figure out this puzzle. Oh no, wait, they're gonna kill him. If I... oh. He's tired? No? I guess he doesn't wet because he actually needs to be useful here. Yeah, I do. Wait, oh, I can talk to them. Oh, that's different. I have candle. It kill dark. You want have? Yes. He's gonna be like, you can't have. Okay. Oh, thanks guy. That's nice of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. These pillars are supposed to carry items. Do you have any idea? Oh, fucking, that's Denksnavel. No, shut the fuck up, Denksnavel. I'll just, uh, switch off to nothing. Friend, I try draw a film strip. You want have? Of course. Okay. Oh, I need to drop the coin. Grass feel nice. I am walk. You good people. I am walk. Okay, cool. So we got a film strip and I'll just hold on to the film strip for now and then we'll go back there when we actually need it in the future. And yeah, he just eats that. Nothing else. Hi, are you harmful? He's running away like he's scared. Hey. Guy. I'm not gonna kill you. Yet. Oh. Oh, but I can't, like, sit on top of him. Do you need to, like, get there before him? Is that a timed thing? And then he closes that? Aha! So that's what we're doing. And obviously we can't kill him then. Yeah, no. Alright, I get it. Little speed challenge. Yeah, not too bad. Film strip there. Kill him. Nope, can't. And that's... something. Oh fuck, I should have used... hmm. God damn it, now I kinda wanna check that. Oh boy, I'm gonna replay it. I'll, I'll be back here, just one second. Oh! But this time we don't find the film strip guy. Hold on. Oh, nope, nope, I did not want to do that. This guy's different, friend. Yeah, now he's drawing the film strip, but he's not blue this time, so is that like a different guy? Film strip. Bleone. Oh, are they called Bleones or Bleones, I guess? Film strip. Or Blyon, maybe. Because, like, they kind of blooms or blossoms and lions at the same time, maybe? I don't know. Wait, shit. I should talk to the blue guy. Let's just see. Stop. 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 Big stone statue, good. Okay, that's it. Now I'm kind of curious. What if I go back? Can I talk to the different lions elsewhere? Yeah, you good people. Thanks. I use stick when angry. I'll try to not make you angry. Friend. I hope big statue never disappear. But I wonder what does statue all day. It just stand there. We need do something. Yeah, so that's like a different... Different thing to talk. So, as I was saying, you actually do need to not have your weapon equipped at some points so that you can actually talk to things that you could also kill, friend. Ouch. Big stone statue good. Ow! Fuck you. Where am I? Should I really go and talk to everyone? Probably. 
Like this guy is special. Nope. What if I get him a different color? What's this? Yeah, that's a butterfly. Sorry, guy! God damn it, didn't mean to do that. What if I switch off and then try to talk to him? No, you can't. Alright. Once they're angry, they're angry. Oh, shit, you actually do get coins. Occasionally, you can get coins from them. Okay. That's good to know. Probably not really worth it to, like, farm for coins here, but... It's a thing. I'm just gonna... I just want to confirm that you can get more than one ever. And that was just a random drop. Yep, wow, that's a lot of coins. Okay, maybe it is a good good way to farm money if you need it. Huh. And yeah, I can't get up there. So wait. I have a candle now. Which I guess is better than the match, but I don't know... Can you not use the candle for some things that you could use the match for? Or what's the point of the match, once you have a candle? I am lost. I can help you with that. Friend. I hate rock. Collect shiny stone. Alright, that's it. What if I try to sell the candle? Can I do that? Hey, check this out. What's up? I guess you have to sell first, and then you can show as many items as you want. Whoops. 12 smirt? Nope, that's not worth it. Wait, what did he say there at the end? Where he just, like, walked away? What was that? Let's see. Oh, and you can avoid saving by jumping out really quick if you don't want to save. Sorry! Nope. Twelve smirt? Throw it in the bag if you accept my offer. Oh. I guess not then. I want better. Give me something better. Nope. Okay. That's it. I've basically made no progress today, but there's a lot of small things to... to find out here, which is interesting. Alright, I guess I talked to most of them, at least most of the special-looking ones, or something. Friend! Yeah, that's the same. I am walk. La la la! Friend. Alright, let's kill them. Because they might have money. And even if I take damage, I can just heal up from this fruit. Yep, one coin. Totally worth it for killing four innocent lives. And yeah, can't do anything here. I just want to see what Denk Snavel says about maybe the film strip up there and the artifact inside before I grab them. Okay, nothing there, but if I go in here... Nope, he doesn't say anything. Alright, well, now we know. So what is that? What did we get? Piece of Splank. Incredibly dense material, us usually harvested by Splank hackers. Makes sense. Oh, and bucket for carrying water is for the blusters, of course, because they spray water. And then... This looks disgusting, it's not crafted by one, so that's a Fnacker, probably. And then I guess... Do I jump up? On the last one? Hey, guy. Oh! I... Will... Miss... My... Piece... Of... Splank. Sorry. How are you doing? You are so fast. How are you doing? Racing is fun. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
So he's not like upset that I stole it. It's like, ah, oh, dang, I, I lost the race, so he deserves the thing. I hope. Can't check Dank Snabble here. Can't kill him. All right, well, sorry, but thanks. I appreciate it, guy. All right, so we do... Well, I have it on a hotkey, right? Yeah, this one here. And bucket there. And then Fnacker piece. I mean, Splink Hacker piece there. And then... Aha! It was what I thought. I just jump up on it to represent the Wums. And then I fall asleep because it's too boring. Oh, I have no control. Oh, and a boss fight. Right, we need to defeat the stone. Ouch! That was pretty dumb. So it's gonna turn around and then, like, lie down flat, and I need to avoid that. I don't know if I can run underneath it, or if I have to... Yeah, okay. Alright. Makes sense. Wow, that just... Oh my god, that just insta-killed you. Does it actually insta-kill you? I need to actually... Wow, okay, so you need to jump when he does that. I'm just gonna check. Do I actually instantly die, even though it said, like, 18? That's still just... You die. Yeah, 16. You're just dead. Alright, fair enough. So, just want to stay away and jump here. Yeah, that shockwave. Oh, I don't have my gun equipped. So just be careful, because he falls very fast. Faster than I was expecting. And then walk away. Okay, that still, still hurt me, because I needed to jump. Ouch. Wow, that's very precise. Okay. Yeah, shockwave again. Okay. And that doesn't do anything when he has the uh, aura around him. And now he repeats the cycle, kind of. Alright, well, not too bad. Pretty interesting boss. I like this a lot. This is an interesting game so far. Ah, oh, I forgot to jump. I thought about it, like, right at the end, when it was too late. Oh, shit! Oh, okay. I get it. Oh, and I- I can still hit them? No? Does he say anything? No, he does not. Oh, can you just sit, like, in a corner? Because he can't jump in there? It's like one of those DVD logo things that can bounce around the screen. Maybe occasionally he will hit the magical corner, but like, chances are he probably won't. Yeah, okay, while they're falling, you can actually do a little bit of damage. That's good to know. He should be dead here, I think. I'm almost dead too, though. Very close. Oh my god, it wasn't enough. Really? I just went all in. Alright. Now I know how he works. Let's do this fucking no damage. I don't have my gun. God damn it. So he goes there, watch out, and then jump. Yep. Oh man. Well, rip no damage. Yeah, getting a better weapon would be nice. I guess he starts splitting when he's like half health. Most likely. So now he can start splitting. Yeah, exactly. All right. Makes sense. And once again, I can hit them, so I want to, like, shoot behind me during this part. It actually does even more damage than the big guy. It was like six damage per hit sometimes, so double damage from the normal one. Oh! Oh, he doesn't do damage by just hitting you, like, walking into him. 
It's only when he lands on you. Alright, don't get greedy this time. Let's just take it slow. And do as many phases as I need to. God damn it, I didn't even listen to myself. I kind of wonder why they even show damage on that attack if it just insta-kills you anyway. And why does that one insta-kill you when the, uh, the normal ones do not? Or do they? Is it just the shockwaves that don't kill you? I don't know. Oh, wow. Okay, so there he does damage you, even on the side. But most of the time, he does not. Oh, that was close. And now he splits. Yep, even though he's not really half health, it's good enough, I suppose. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on! Really, dude? That one was just cheap. They were all done, and then one guy is just like, I'm gonna sneak in one last hit here. Oh, split again. Wasn't expecting that. He's almost dead. Just, oh god. Okay, this is new. So I've almost killed him, like, every time before he does his second face. What's this about? Maybe this is more prevalent on, like, there we go. Oh. Took damage in the end. On the uh, higher difficulties, maybe he has more health, so he'll enter that phase, like, much earlier. Probably. Wow! That sure was a weird experience. Oh, and I get my things back. No, I don't. I, I mean, I do. Wait, is it like I can just re-fight him if I want? By just placing them all, or... No? Can I exit here? I can't. I have to do it. God damn it. I wanted to end off the episode, but okay. Guess we gotta do this again. So... Bucket... Wait, how do I even know which one was which now? I believe that was Bucket, and then this one... Nope. And that here, and then I jump up here? No, god damn it. Yeah? And it opens up a tunnel, I see. But now I can take them back. Alright. We can't get up there, at least not yet, so I don't know what that's about. Maybe you can, like, refight the boss or something. But for now, definitely gonna head back, save, and then call it there. But next time, before dropping down there, I guess we can check out the, uh, the king. If we go back there, maybe the king will have a reward or something, or at least mention this whole thing. So yeah, that was fun. Fairly difficult boss fight, not really, but for being like the second boss of the game, that felt like a pretty decent difficulty curve so far, and very interesting attacks, and they made sense and telegraphed well and stuff like that, so I like that. That was good. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!